What is up, gang? It is day five of mental freedom here. Sorry, I'm not um, super consistent with the every single day like I was before, but um, driving time has gone down <laughs> a lot. And um, additionally, the whole like never being alone in a room by yourself has way more pros than cons. Um, so yeah, the all the pros is very little chance to be tempted. Well, not, not very little chance to be tempted, but very little chance to actually act out. <clears throat> um, but yeah, the, the cons are, yeah, okay, I can't make a video super often. Um, now my roommate's at class currently. Um, so I'm able to quick whip one of these up and I just made a call to my accountability partner. So, um, yeah, he, he, Really nice guy, really has got his head on his shoulders. Um, we've had some great discussions, not about this yet. I'm not gonna drop any bombs this early, but um, yeah, things are going well. Um, I did want to report that um, there has been more temptation because I'm around a lot more attractive females and the ratio on campus here is two thirds girls to guys. I think it's actually higher now, but, um, yeah, so there's a lot of them, and not that that's a bad thing, but I just wanted to say that, and I need to be aware of how I'm looking at these women in the face, recognizing they're beautiful, not with lust, not any of that nonsense, um, yeah, so... Everything's really going well. I'm reading Wild at Heart, which if you guys have never read, is 10 out of 10. Um, and yeah, it's Wild at Heart, and then underneath it says Discovering the Secret of a Man's Soul. And it's a lot about how men have been emasculated by society and how guys are treated, not treated, but they're wanted to act more like women. Because girls are nicer and girls are sweeter and girls don't get in the trouble and all this stuff. Sure, it might be true. But if you look at how a guy is wired, how a girl is wired, we're not, we're not meant to be the same. Period. At all. Nothing. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's been a big problem. And some of the... <laughs> not some of the... The biggest issues is when a guy doesn't feel validated by his father, then he goes looking for it in some messy places with girls in relationships, um, which, sorry, not a messy place, but if you're looking to be validated there, never a good call. Um, or addictions, or video games, whatever. And it's because they're looking for an adventure. Um, every guy is called to, this is what the book talks about, an adventure to live, a battle to fight, and a beauty to rescue. And if you think about it, think, think of your life. How many of those three things are you fulfilling? Because if you're not fulfilling one of those three, chances are you've short-circuited one of those three, sometimes more than one of those three, with something like an addiction, with something like a vice, with something like a hobby that's all but consumed you. <clears throat> and um, so with guys being emasculated and people saying stuff like, wars are caused by men, and like, look at the Columbine shooting, and that wasn't caused by women, and yes, very touchy subjects, but their point they're trying to making is that guys are dangerous, so therefore you should be nicer, that you should be sweeter, and you shouldn't have that persona. Um, and it's not the cheesy bad boy leather jacket persona, but it's standing up and being a man and having strength because that's how we were designed. That's what we're called to. And the best comparison is I say, yeah, a man is dangerous. They're meant to be. But so is a scalpel. The scalpel 
can take a life or can save a life. It depends whose hands it's in. Think about that. And then they said, and you can't make the world better by dulling all scalpels because people will die. Hmm, interesting, right? So in the same sense, yes, guys stop, started wars. Yes, two um, young men shot up a school and it's been one of the deadliest shootings to date. But in both of those examples, who stormed the beaches of Normandy and ended the war? Who held the door open at Columbine so people could escape and threw their body in front of other younger women to give their life and save theirs? Guys, in all examples, men. And am I saying that women can't do these things? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But what I'm saying, and what John Eldridge and Wild at Heart is saying, is that guys were called to something bigger than themselves, bigger than the mundane, bigger than addictions, and bigger than laying down your pride and laying down your strength just to be politically correct and socially acceptable. And I see it so much on college campuses. He gives another example of how <clears throat> guys will have like the 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 scruffy beard and um, the boots and stuff like that. But then they've got like the sideways baseball hat and like a silly t-shirt. So like 50% of them is like, I'm a man, I'm strong, give me respect, whatever. And then the other half of them is saying, but I'm still a little boy, and I don't want any responsibility, and I'm just trying to have fun. You know what I mean? Just how they're dressed. Um, it's a fairly surface-level example, but you, you hear it in the conversations as well. So, um, yeah, I would encourage anyone who's a guy or even a girl. There's plenty of stuff in here for even women. Check this out if you haven't, Wild at Heart. Um, it is strongly faith-based. But um, it has a ton of good stuff in there. It's really given me a lot of insight into why I've acted the way I have um, and what's been missing in my life. And then most importantly, what I'm supposed to do as a guy, as a man in society today. And um, giving me a lot better picture on the man that I am going to become. Not that I want to become that I will become. Um, so with that, I would tell everybody to stay strong out there because you're men or women <laughs> and you deserve it and you're worth it and you're going to absolutely crush this thing. So it is day five. I will talk to you guys real soon. Take care, everybody. Peace.